everyone. Today, I am here to teach class 3 students chapter number 2, addition. Addition, let me make you well aware of that this chapter you have been studying from lower grades like in standard 1 and standard 2 you have studied and with each grade you are moving higher, you are studying this chapter into a more detailed form. So, let's start with the definition here. Addition is an operation. Operation just like a subtraction, multiplication, division. It is an operation that finds the total number when two or more numbers are put together. You need to have at least two or it could be more than two. So here it is, I have taken example 20 plus 12 gives you 32. And the next example I have taken here 10 plus 30 plus 20 gives you 60. So 20 plus 2, are, the two numbers are here. And it has given me the answer 32. While here 10 plus 30 plus 20, three numbers I have taken and when I have calculated this, uh, their sum I have got 60. So here 20 plus 12 are called the added and similarly here 10 plus 30 plus 20 are called the added. These all numbers are the addends. What are addends? Addends are those numbers which are put together to find a sum. The numbers which are to be added are called addends. So these are the addends. Clear? Why? The answer, the answer what I have got, like 20 plus 12 I have got the answer 32. And the answer of addition we call it as sum. Clear? So to, in today's topic we will study about addition of four digit number first with without regrouping, next with regrouping and lastly using expanded start with the first topic addition of four digit number first without regrouping what is exactly re without regrouping means and without regrouping there will not be any change of the groups of place value and the answer what you get will lie underneath the place values so let's say it with example here Add 4,231 and 2,358. So the first step will be the proper arrangement. So the proper arrangement of the numbers. Proper arrangement. The first step will be the proper arrangement. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 these numbers are there. 4,231. 2358. So here 1 is it in 1's column, 3 tens, 2 hundred, 4 thousand. Similarly here 8 is 1's, 5 tens, 3 hundred and 2 thousand. So the proper arrangement is there. What will you will do? 1's, 10's, 100, 1000. And after that we will write these numbers under the place value. Like here 4,231, 4,231. Add is given. Symbol we will write it here. Then 2,358. Clear? Now next step will be add the ones. So adding the ones I, have get, I will get it here. 1 ones plus 8 ones is your 9 ones. And after once, the next step would be tens. Add the tens. So here three tens plus five tens gives you eight tens. You need to see that you write in proper columns. Okay. So after tens, it would be hundred. So add the hundreds. 200 plus 300 gives you 500 and lastly add the thousands. So in thousands place I can see it is 4000 plus 2000 you get 6000. So your answer is 6589. One more example without regrouping. Add 6,234 and 3,512. The same steps we will follow now also. Steps. First step was proper arrangement of numbers. 
proper arrangement of numbers so now let's start with the proper arrangement ones tens hundred thousand 6234 6234 add symbol we will put it here now 3512 after the proper arrangement the next step I have written was add the ones so as we can see it here that four ones and two ones is given now we will add four ones and two ones it gives us Six ones. Six base of ones I will take six. Now add the tens. Three tens plus one tens gives us four tens. Next step add the hundreds. 200 plus 500 gives us 700 and the last step add the 1000 and thousands please we can say it that 3, 6000 and 3000 are given we need to add again 6000 plus 3000 gives us 9000 so this was the all 5 steps we need to follow it here First proper arrangement of number, I have arranged the number, I have given the symbol here, then add the ones, 4 ones plus 2 ones, 6 ones, next step add the tens, 3 tens plus 1 tens, 4 tens, next step add the hundreds, 200 plus 500 gives us 700 and the last step was there, thousands, add the thousands, 6000 plus 3000 gives us 9000. So your final answer is 9746. Here are some questions for you in without regrouping. You need to add the numbers without regrouping. So copy it down and solve it. Add 2346 and 2344. The next question. Add 1006 and 8822 with the second topic addition of positive number with regrouping as without regrouping we have studied that there was no change in group of the place values but in with regrouping there will be a change in the place values and therefore in simple words we could say that there would be a carrying method let's see it clearly with an example out here add 1456 and 2795 the addition will be following in the same step what we followed in without regrouping so the first step we did was there a proper arrangement proper arrangement of the numbers proper arrangement of numbers so how we will do the proper arrangement? We need to keep, uh, keep the numbers in the proper place values. So here, 1s, 10s, 100, 1000. Clear? 1000 plus 1456. Addition symbol, we will keep it here. 2795. Clear? After the proper arrangement, what we did was add the ones. So here I have seen it is that six ones and five ones. Six ones and five ones gives me six ones and five ones gives us eleven ones. Eleven is ten plus one. Here 10 means 1 10 and here 1 means 1 1. Clear? So in place of 1's I will keep it here 1 while 
in place of 10 what I have got at 1 I'll put that 1 in place of 10 since what I have got was 11 ones I can break this 11 ones into 10 plus 1 10 is 1 10 and 1 is 1 ones so 1 ones I have kept this 1 digit in place of 1's and this 1 digit in place of 10 because this 1 is not the value of 1's that's why I have kept this 1 in the 10's place. So after the addition of 1's we will do addition at the 10's. So at the 10's 5 10's plus 9 10's we need to see that 1 10's is already carried from 1's. So 5 tens plus 9 tens gives us 14 tens and 14 tens plus 1 tens gives us 15 tens. 5 tens plus 9 tens plus 1 tens gives us 15 tens. 15 tens is 15 into 10. That is 150, 150 can be broken into 100, 100 plus 50. 100 is 100, 100 and 50 is 5 tenths. So clear? So in place of tenths, now I will write it here 5 and in place of 100, I will keep 1. Now the next step I'll do is add the 100. So add the 100, 400 plus 700 plus 100. 400 plus 700 plus 100 gives me 4 plus 7 gives me 11, 11 plus 1 gives me 1200. 1200 means 12 into 100. That is 1200. We can break this 1200 into 1000 plus 200. 1000 means 1000 plus this is 200. So in place of 100, now I will write it here 2. And this one is of 1000. That's why I keep this one in the thousands place. So the last step. Add the thousands. Add the thousands. So 1000 plus 2000 plus here 1000 is still left. 1000 gives me 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 1, 4000. So here in place of 1000, I will keep it here for example in addition of 4 digit number with regrouping. Let's take one example at 7246 and 2364. Clear? So, I will not write the steps now as I have already told you the steps without regrouping and I have already explained the steps in with regrouping. Now, we will just solve the addition now. So, the first step was the proper arrangement of the numbers in columns. So, 1s, 10s, 100, 1000. 7246. We need to add, that's why we will give the plus out symbol here. Now, 2364. After the completion of the proper arrangement of the numbers, the next step we will follow is adding the ones. So here, 6 ones plus 4 ones gives us 10 ones. 10 ones means 10 into 1, that is 10. Here, I could easily write 1 10. 1, 10 plus 0, 1. So, 1, 10 and 0, 1. So, what value do I have in 1? 0. 0. Clear? What value I have in 10? 1. 
one has come to its place that is tens. So one tens plus four tens gives us five tens and five tens and six tens gives us eleven tens. Eleven tens means eleven into ten that is one hundred and ten. One hundred can be written as hundred plus ten. Hundred that means one hundred one one hundred and this is one ten. Clear? So one hundred and one ten. Clear you? So now 200, so now 100 plus 200 gives us 300 and 300 gives us 600. Now comes to 1000 place, 7000 plus 2000 gives us 9000. So your answer is 9610. So here are some questions for you. You need to add the numbers with regrouping at 2726 and 3925 your second question add 8006 and 9213 let's discuss about the last topic of today's session that is addition of four digit number using expanded form what does expanded form mean? It is a notation of writing the numbers using place value. Or you can find the mathematical value of the each digits. Like if I give you the example 2624 could be written as 2000 plus 600 plus 210 that is 20 plus 4. Why? Because the place value of 2 is 1000. 6 is 100, 2 is 6 is 100, 2 is tens and 4 is 1s. Clear? So now let's see the addition using expanded form. Give you an example. First example add 4063 and 2925. Clear? So we need to write these numbers first in the place value system and after that in expanded form. Now first we need to write in place values. Okay. So ones, tens, hundred and thousand. Four thousand sixty three and two thousand nine hundred and twenty five. After that in expanded form. 4063 could be written as 4000 means 0 hundred. Clear? 6 tenths now 6 tenths that is 60 plus 3 one that is 3. Now we need to expand 2925 2920 and 5. Now we need to add the numbers. So Starting with the ones place we will add 3 ones plus 5 ones gives us 8 ones. 3 plus 5 we know that it is 8. 6 tens plus 2 tens gives us 8 tens. 0 plus 0 gives us 0. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. That is 80 is actually 8 tens. Now, 0, 100 plus 900 gives us 900. 0, 100 plus 900 gives us 900. That is 900. 
4000 plus 2000 gives us 6000. Here. Yeah. 6000. So what is the expanded form of this number? 6988 is 6000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 8. So your answer is 6988. Now let us see one more example. You need to add the numbers using expanded form. Add 3341 and 2056. So the first thing you need to do is writing the numbers according to its place value. 3341, 2056. Ones, tens, hundred and thousand. Now using expanded form. Three thousand three hundred forty one can be written as three thousand three hundred forty plus one. Two thousand fifty six could be written as two thousand plus zero hundred plus five tens plus six ones. Now let's add the ones first. One ones plus six ones gives us seven ones. 1 1's plus 6 1's gives us 7 1's. 4 10's plus 5 10's gives us 9 10's. 0 plus 0, 0. 4 plus 5, 9. That is 9 10 is actually 9 10's. 300 plus 0 100 gives us 300. 300 plus 0 100 gives us 300. 3000 plus 2000 gives us 5000. 3000 plus 2000 gives us 5000. So your answer is 5397. So when you are doing this expanded form, you need to write the place value also and expanded form also. Each number should be expanded and now thereafter you need to add. You need to add the numbers. Clear? Now here are some questions for you. You need to add the numbers using expanded form. Add 2824 and 6135. Your second question. Add 6032 and 2836.